you guys. Welcome back to uh, Spool and Metal here. We uh, got a new bike, well two new bikes. This is my baby. Um, I traded that other KE100 Kawasaki for it and uh, it's a 1990 Kawasaki KX80. And then I picked up for 50 bucks a Blada 3.4 um, racing mini pocket bike and uh, today we're going to trade it for a X18 Tercel um, built by the company called I think Viva and uh, yeah, it should be pretty cool. Alright you guys so uh, this is what I got for the Blada I think it's a uh, 125 Viva Blech, excuse me, Viva. Um, it's got hydraulic brakes front and rear. Um, it's got keys up there. Uh, right there. And uh, it's got light, a light. Um, RPM gauge, you know, those things really don't matter. But, um, you know, carbureted. It's a nice bike. It doesn't run right now. Um, no kickstart, so I'm not really going to do too much with it. And um, so yeah, this is uh, the bike that I just recently got. Got that one last night. You guys know about my dad's X1. Took it all apart. And we found that the engine, the old engine is over here. You can see that there's chunks missing from it. Here's an engine bolt missing, or engine mount. Another one missing there. Uh, electric start is uh, snapped off, so we just decided to buy a brand new um, piece for it. We bought a um, a uh, moped. I kind of want to say it's Tommy's cousin. Tommy's still over there hanging out. You can see him back there. Still a really crap uh, scooter. Um, I have no plans with it, so. Um, but yeah, we got the X1 up here. My dad's X1, and uh, I spent all of last night um, building the engine for today. I had to swap the tranny. I had to uh, fix a lot of different things. I know that there's still a really big hole right here, but all of the mounts are still intact. Um, so uh, it should work just fine. So I'm gonna reorganize everything, kind of clean up a little bit, and then get started on the X1 for tonight. out of the way. Well, I mean, we put the bike together and we started drill starting because we had no pull starter. And, oh shoot, smoking, smoking. And the engine is seized. And the drill may be seized. Yeah, and the drill may be seized now too. <coughs> oh, whoa, that's a lot of smoke. <coughs> How's the out? Yeah, the yeah, outlet's fine. Yeah, but anyway, we seized the engine of the X1. Um, oh my gosh. <coughs> All right, you guys, so um, after that little interesting bit, um, we just decided to call it quits for the night. Yeah. And uh, what we're going to do is take the top end off of the motor that's somewhere in here. One sec. It's in here somewhere, right there. We're going to take that top end, and then we're going to put it on the X1 over there. And then, yeah, I'm going to get this bike running. And um, yeah, the KX80 is mint though. I just put a uh, fuel filter on there, new fuel lines. Um, it's a very nice bike, but I'll have to make a video about um, why I have many different bikes in each um, in each video because it's um, 
something that you guys might want to start doing if uh, you ride pocket bikes. Uh, but I don't have very many plans for this bike. Um, just clean it up, keep it nice. Um, yeah. But anyway, yes, this is uh, my KX80. I love this thing. This I hope to keep for a while because it's it's such a nice bike. Only thing that it needs right now is some uh, oil because there's like none in there. So uh, yeah, I mean, I can start it up for you guys. Let me do that right now. Here we go. Just primer a few times. So there you go, uh, she vapes a lot as you can see. Let me uh, show you what I mean here. Yeah, good bike, I mean, a little bit of cosmetic stuff. You know, I just drift stitched. Um, she vapes a lot. I need to uh, rejet the carb, maybe this winter. Um, fouls a lot of spark plugs. But I mean, yeah, that's, that's really the only problems with her. But anyway, you guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully as soon as I can because uh, I've been lacking um, uploading videos because I've been busy with school baseball and you know whatever you know but I will attempt to upload as soon as I can so uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video so uh, why don't you tell us why you got those tires well, after a long, big decision, spent uh, about $2,000 on a... Uh... All right.